How did it feel to be out there with your teammates? It was great. Um, it's been been tough not being on the ice with them every day and uh, just watching from from afar. It's been you know a bit of a grind, but it felt good to get out there again today. Did it make it worse the fact that? You knew you were going to get a good opportunity in training camp, and then that happens. I mean, that had to make it even worse on you. Yeah, it was definitely you know pretty devastating to not even get a chance to um, you know play any preseason games or um, get to show myself in in the games before the season. But um, you know, I thought I came into camp in really good shape. I felt like I had you know a big summer and, and got real real strong and, and a lot faster. So um, yeah, it was definitely you know tough to. Not be able to showcase that, but it's good to be back. So also, some relief, Matt, when you found out that it wasn't a long-term, you know, deal. Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, I think for what it was, it was you know best-case scenario. There was you know no structural damage, so um, you know got got pretty lucky there. And um, you got to take some positives out of it. That um, you know it wasn't a longer-term injury for sure. What happened on that play? I guess. On the in play, I got injured. Injured. Um, was just tracking back, um, trying to fill in for the for the defenseman. They got a guy back door, so saw the puck coming over. Tried to reach out to to break up the play and deflect the puck, and then um, the guy kind of just came right through my arm. And um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. The elbow was as much an issue as the shoulder, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, a little bit of both. Um, they both feel feel a lot better now. They've been. Um, progressing every day. I feel better every day, so um, you know, hopefully just, just keep feeling better as, as the days go by. So you still have a little ways to go? Yeah, I think, you know, not, uh, wasn't doing too much contact today. I'm um, just trying to, you know, ease back into it a little bit, not risk a re-injury or anything like that, so um, taking it cautious in, in that front, but um, I feel good out there. My legs feel good. I've been doing uh, rehab skates four or five times a week, so I feel like, you know, my conditioning or cardio level is it's really good right now, and um, looking forward to being back 100%. How have you tried to make the best of the uh, last couple of weeks? I know you've been doing rehab skates, but how else have you just tried to make the most of being with an NHL team? Yeah, I think just trying to learn every day, um, talking to guys, uh, asking questions. I've hung out with a couple guys away from the rink, and, and they've all been really great to me. This is you know, such a good group they have here that, with the veterans they got, and um, all the young guys, I think it's such a tight knit team for for an NHL locker room. So you know it's pretty easy to get acclimated right away and um, just getting comfortable day by day, building relationships. I think that goes a long way. Just spending time at the rink. Um, I think when you're injured, it's easy to you know kind of shy away and, and be on a little bit of an island. But I think you know I've done a good job, and the other guys have done a good job with including me in everything. Um, me being in team meetings, learning lots about the system what Donnie expects the guys to play like and um, just taking it all in. What's your, been your reaction to see the way that Zach's been able to show himself here in camp? It's been awesome. I mean, just watching from from afar, seeing how he's been playing. He's been, been playing real good. And, um, you know, I knew he was a great player coming into camp and the confidence he possesses and, you know, the way he can he can drive a line and, and be such a good complimentary player. It's He's a pretty special player for sure. But at 18, to be able to come into camp, and he didn't seem phased by any of it. It's just like he'd been doing it for 10 years. I mean, was that at all surprising, or is that the guy you know? <laughs> I mean, for me, that's that's the guy I know. That's the guy I was around all year last year and the year before. He's he's got immense confidence. He's uh, he's real capable too. So um, you know that backs it up. That that's what allows him to be so confident. The way he prepares in the summer, the way he approaches every day. He's he's already you know such a pro and in, in how he how he approaches everything on and off the ice. So. Um, you know, it was it was a little bit um, cool just to see him come in and have an impact right away at that level. What's the next step for you right now? I think just taking it day by day, still um, continuing to to learn as much as I can. Just um, you know, be be present, be uh, be a good guy in the locker room, be a guy that guys want to have conversations with, and, and continuously having a smile on my face. Um, you know, it's it's obviously not easy going through an injury, but um, you know. There's definitely some positives to take away from it, just being around the guys, learning a lot, and um, yeah, it's been good. Is there any veteran who maybe is taking you under his wing and say, hey, look, at, this isn't the end of the world. You're going to come through this type of a t type of thing? Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, it's tough to name one. I mean, I've, uh, I've been over to a couple guys' houses for dinner and, and gotten to spend time with the guys away from the rink, which 
which has been great, and uh, just getting to know the guys even more on a, on a personal level. They're all such good guys, and you know, I can tell why why they're such a tight knit group and why they have such a you know family like atmosphere in the dressing room. They're all they're all care about each other and, and want to push each other. Was that a different experience being on the field at the Bills game? Yeah, I mean, I was at the home opener, but uh, up in the upper bowl, so it was definitely a lot better experience being down on the field, seeing the players live. Um, crazy just you know the kind of athletes those guys are um the way they prepare every day and and the way they maintain their bodies it was, it was pretty cool to see were you able to use anything that from your previous shoulder injury to apply to this to, to kind of get through it yeah i think just just being patient i think it's easy to rush these things and um you know come back a little bit too early but uh you know, i i was really focused on making sure it was Back to feeling good, back to having strength in it, and I've had a lot of motion in it, so that, you know I didn't re-injure it. So, and uh, yeah, I mean it, there was a lot of differences in the two shoulder injuries, but um, you know some similarities just the way I, with the way I approached it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks. Thanks.